do exclusive wilderness adventures and we go places no one else goes. Kodiak Island is a very special place. It actually hasn't changed in the last 10,000 years since the last ice age. So a lot of our guests feel like it's the very first time anyone's ever been there. To get to Kodiak Island, first you have to get to Anchorage, Alaska, and then switch planes probably and fly due south 250 miles or another hour. Our business specializes in taking people into very remote places, real wilderness, very safely. Our trips start in Kodiak Island. They take about a week. The Kodiak area offers better viewing for things like bears, salmon, uh, a lot of bird rookeries, sea otters. Then we cross the Shelikov where we concentrate for three or four days on getting off the boat, walking in, and being really close to and learning about bears. And when we're done, we only leave behind just our tracks. A lot of people confuse grizzly bear to the coastal brown bear. And they're really, even though they were related in the distant past, they are different animals because of the abundance of food. The Kodiak Island and the coastal brown bears around there are very docile compared to the grizzly bear that has to compete for its food all the time. There's so much fish that our bears are almost lazy in regards to chasing fish, eating food. They don't have to compete. So these bears are bigger and a lot better behaved. The main purpose of using the boat to see all the wildlife we have, especially bears, is that we're able to follow the food. Each year, the salmon come at different times because of water temperature. They go to different streams depending upon the run, and each stream or bay holds a different kind of fish. So the versatility that we have from the boat means we can go where the bears are. Our clientele range in age and physical ability and we're able to customize our trips to specifically suit their need. We not only take people who are amateur or professional photographers, we also do fish and wildlife research trips. We're doing a historical trip that follows the route that Bering took back in the 1700s. We do exclusive fly fishing trips. I'm a member of FFF, a certified casting instructor. So the boat is very versatile and can do whatever people want to do with it. The boat was extensively refurbished in 2006 with the uh, intent of placing on it all the equipment necessary for going out into the wilderness to be self-sustaining and have all the creature comforts of home. The boat is comprised of three staterooms which accommodate two people each. We have a full galley or kitchen where the meals are prepared and it's beside the main salon where, or lounge where people congregate after the day to swap their experiences and to have dinner. We also have state-of-the-art laundry facilities as well as deep free space for fishermen that catch their big fish and want to keep it. Many people have a big misconception about Kodiak's weather. We're directly in the Japanese current, which really moderates our temperatures. We're not under a bunch of ice and snow all year long. So in the winters, we'll have temperatures that hover around freezing. And in the summers, we have temperatures that are in the high 60s. So not too hot, not too cold, really comfortable. So a lot of our clients are really surprised that we have a very comfortable temperature all year round. <laughs>